Hi folks, this is Jason Kidner with another edition of XPM's Expedited Explanations. These are short videos that help you maximize the value of Atlassian tools. In this video, we're going to cover the best practice of employing project roles in a permission scheme in JIRA. Now, I am in a server instance of JIRA, and I'm going to play the roles of both the JIRA admin and the project admin of a project called the Sample Scrum Project A. Each project in JIRA has an underlying permission scheme, which controls who can see the issues in the project and who can perform various actions on those issues. As a project admin, I can see the permission scheme in my project by going to the project settings on my project and choosing the permission option. I can see that this project is using the SSPA permission scheme, which grants certain permissions to the administrator role, like administer projects and delete issues. And it grants most of the other permissions to the application access of any logged in user. And this is just like the out of the box permission scheme in JIRA. Now, as a project admin, I cannot edit the permission scheme. The JIRA admin has to do that. So wearing my JIRA admin hat, I will go to this tab, and <clears throat> I will choose to go to the JIRA admin gearbox and the, it, choose the issues option. And in the issues area of, of JIRA admin, I can choose the permission schemes. Here I see a list of all the permission schemes on my instance, and I can scroll to the bottom and find my SSPA permission scheme. Now to make edits to this, I choose the permissions link. Now, each of the 25 uh, plus permissions in a permission scheme can be granted to, um, to various uh, users in your instance. Take, for instance, I would click this edit button, and we can see that a, a permission can be granted to a project role. And here's the list of roles that are available to me on my instance. And I can uh, add or remove these, mod make modifications as a Jira admin to these can also grant permissions to an application access, like any logged in user or a particular application that you have licenses for. Can also add grant access uh, permissions to a group. And these are different groups that are set up on our particular instance. Groups can only be updated by the JIRA admin. And if I do click the show more option, I can see a number of other user centric options uh, that I can uh, grant these permissions to. Cancel for now. And there could be business cases for any of these options, but the best practice is to use project roles. Now, there are three reasons why using project roles is the best practice. First, using roles empowers the project admin to decide who will have certain permissions in their project, because the project admin has control over who are in the roles in their project. The second reason is using roles reduces the overhead for the JIRA admins. JIRA admins are the only users in the system who can edit permission schemes, as well as things like groups. So by not using groups or individuals in a permission scheme, the JIRA admin will not be asked as often to make changes, and they can focus on other needs in the organization. The third and final reason is using roles in a permission scheme also allows a scheme to be shared by many projects that use the same roles in the same ways, thus reducing the number of permission schemes in the instance. So uh, I'm gonna put my project admin hat back on and I want to now update my permission scheme to use roles to govern the permissions in my projects instead of having this wide open any logged in user access. So I need to reach out to the JIRA admin to make those updates. So I put on my JIRA admin hat Go back to that section. I'm in that permission, per, permission scheme for my this project, and I want to update the browse project permission to go away from any logged in user, and I want to set up access to this for the administrator role and the developer role. So to do this, I first will remove the application access, and then I'll choose the edit option, and I'll choose the project role of administrators first and grant that. And next, I will choose the project role of developers and grant that. 
Once I've made those changes, I can inform the project admin and I wear my project admin hat again and I can refresh the screen within my project and I can now see that browse projects has been updated for only the developer and administrator roles. Once this is done, I can, as the project admin, I can go into the users and roles section of the project settings. And notice I've already set up as an administrator role, but I wanna add now, I'll add my colleague, Steve Terelmas as a developer. And now you can see the power of using project roles where I can control who is in these roles. And if they are in these roles, they are the ones who have uh, the ability to see into this project with that browse project permission. No one else can. So going forward, as roles are used throughout this permission scheme, the project admin is empowered, the load on the JIRA admin is reduced, and this scheme can be shared by other similar projects in the instance. So thanks for watching. If you're interested in exploring permission schemes further, or want to talk to one of our experienced consultants, go to xvm.com and let us know. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button. If there is a subject you would like to see XBM discuss in a future expedited explanation, let us know in the comments below. Until then, this is Jason Kidner wishing you success in all your Atlassian adventures.